You guys, so this deliverance film, I wanted to talk about the various respected Christians that I follow. Someone made some great points. They're all making great points. However, there are people who are saying, avoid the film. There are people saying, oh, if you're spiritually strong, like me, you can watch the film. There are other people saying, well, you're, God is not giving us a spirit of fear. You're not supposed to fear. Everybody needs to go see this film. And their reason for advising everybody goes to see this film is because this film is the very first film that they've seen that's a horror film that has Jesus Christ as the answer for the problems demonstrated in the film. Now, while I can respect this person's point of view, and I can see, yes, that is the difference. I haven't seen the movie, but from what I've heard from all of the reviews, this movie does show, it's a story of a real life occurrence. Um, this movie does show that as a result of this woman giving her life to Christ, she was able to deliver her entire family. So while I just, while I, while I do agree that God did not give us a spirit of fear, I disagree that everybody needs to go see this film. In fact, I don't think anybody should see this film, and I'm going to tell you why. So you guys can look up all the scripture that pertains to eye gates, ear gates, and giving no place for the devil. You guys can Google all those scriptures if you don't know where they are. I'm not going to go over all of the many scriptures that advise us against these things. Disobedience and portals. I want to talk about disobedience and portals. For one, we already have God's instruction advising us what to do, what not to do with our ear gates and our eye gates. And as a result of our disobedience to his scripture, there are consequences that we suffer. I want to talk about portals because now I hear people debunking the fact that there are no such thing as portals in a Bible. And all it takes is for you to read your Bible or Google portals and the scriptures will come up and you'll see the portals. However, the way that I am hearing certain people discuss the concept of portals is that they are saying these portals are new openings. They are new openings that are allowing more spirits into the earth from the spiritual realm. And while there may or may not be a case to prove that you can open new portals from the spiritual world to our world, that is not what the Bible is talking about in these particular scriptures that I am not going to physically name, but you guys can look up. So portals are openings, gateways, doors. So when you guys know that a hedge of protection, like the brown Job, God provided a hedge of protection around Job, and the Bible talks about the fact that Job did not even realize that there was a hedge of protection around him. But Satan knew that there was a hedge of protection around Job, which is the reason why when he present, he present, approached the throne of God and had a conversation with God about Job, then Satan said to God, I can't touch him because you have your hedge of protection around him. So unbeknownst to Job, he had this hedge of protection from God and he relinquished his hedge of protection. The ways in which we relinquish our, hedge, our hedges of God's protection are through disobedience to his word. He gives us instruction and advises us to do something or not to do something. You guys understand the scripture that says God inhabits our praise. And I was talking about this a little bit in another video where I was talking about worship and, and Christian music in 2024. And how when God says, okay, so God is omnipresent. So that means he's everywhere, right? So why, what's the difference between God saying he inhabits the praises of his people when he's omnipresent, he's already there, right? What happens is his presence engulfs you. There is a certain measure of his presence and protection that is administered when he has his hedge around you. It's not that he's not already present, but there's like this, this extra, I'm trying to verbalize it properly so that it sounds scriptural, but if you understand, you understand. There is a hedge of protection around you. And when we say portals, we mean you allow into your life influences, spiritual influences that did not have access to you 
due to a hedge of protection around you that now you have allowed to be pierced as a result of your disobedience to God's word. This is why certain things can take place in your life as a result of your actions, as a result of you allowing or participating in things such as, for example, Ouija boards and um, certain types of secular music or movies or TV shows or concerts and things like that. When you are in direct disobedience to God, due to his grace and his mercy, sometimes he keeps that hedge protection up, right? Other times, he does not keep that hedge protection up. So when you know better as a Christian and you go to watch a film that has so much demonic activity in it, that it will open up the door. If nothing less, it will open up the door of fear to the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear is an awful spirit to have inhabit your life. I don't know if you guys ever watched the movie Final Destination. Like, that movie to me was a portal because after that movie, so many people became afraid to drive again or to drive or to drive across bridges or to drive over water. Like you will come back certain spirits in your life that you never had to, you never encounter or you never had to come back. So now you create extra spiritual warfare in your life as a result of now the images that you've seen or the, uh, the spirits that you have allowed to break that hedge into your life. You have to cast down every thought and every, uh, you have these new thoughts in your mind that you're constantly having to, to war against. And you have to take the word of God to war against these thoughts. You have to take the word of God to war against these emotions that you're feeling um, as a result of in, uh, uh, exposing your eyes and your ears to, to certain things that have now brought in spiritual influences. A portal is just an opening, it's a gate. It's not saying that we are opening up the spiritual realm and penetrating the spiritual realm and allowing new demons in. No, we're saying that the demons that are already here, you are allowing them now an opening into your life. They will penetrate the hedge of protection that you have prayed and fasted for and walked in obedience to God for and God has graced you with because you've been honoring him in all of your ways and any thought that comes to your mind, you have the readiness to avenge those thoughts with the scripture. And um, I'm in a hurry, I'm gonna have to stop in a minute. But this is what we're talking about, we're talking about portals. You do not need to go to see this film, number one, especially if you're not born again believer, because you, chances are you don't have a hedge of protection around yourself. Has God graced certain people? Maybe, perhaps, but why risk that? And then if you are a believer and you know better, why would you walk in direct disobedience to God and go see films like this? Don't you? appreciate the peace of God that you have in your life why would you want to why would you want to potentially compromise that peace that you've been praying for and you've been warring against and and and, and fasting for over your family over your mind over your emotions over your health and if you guys have experienced it I grew up in a church where we watched demons getting cast out of people over and over again like I'm not afraid of demons you know what I mean I've seen it, but do I want to go sit and be entertained by it? No, I'm not going to. I'm trying my best to not allow myself to be entertained by this stuff. Have I been allowed myself to watch this, these films in the past? Yes, but it's been a long streak for me um, of not watching this stuff. And it's, it's wonderful to not have the influences of that in my life because I am keeping certain things out of my presence, right? My point is, and I'm rushing, and I hate when I do this, Nobody should see this. Like, not because you know what? Some of the most strongest people in the faith, casting out demons, coming up, some of these people dibble and dabble in, in some of this stuff and then they end up losing their minds. They were the heavy hitters in, in the faith coming up. They were the heavy hitters who were traveling and prophesying and apostles and things like that, casting demons out of people. People were getting healed and things like that. And they opened up the door. However, they opened up the door. And all of a sudden, you hear about them years later, and sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so went nuts or went crazy. Why? Because they started walking in direct disobedience to God, who told you to not give the enemy a place in your life. Why would you go watch this? Even if you've been through what's in this movie, it's not wise to go watch it.